Hey guys, so it is the June of the update, and something misfortunate happened. I, I misplaced, I misplaced. So, um, if you don't understand that at all, then you haven't, you're new, and hi, thank you for watching. Um, how are you? Uh, but usually I have a Yoko mouse pad here, and it has disappeared. Um, I have actually another mouse pad I've been using. Oh my god, spoilers. There's, there's spoilers. Well, we'll get to that first anyways. And, um, I don't, I've been using my other mouse pad because it's more comfortable, and then I misplaced the other one. So, yeah, that's why it's not here at the moment. Um, so no manga this month because it's been really, really, really hot, and reading when it's really hot it's just a no-go it's just not I'm not in the mood to do that so I'd rather sit in my room and play video games for like eight hours on my days off because that makes me think I'm more productive because I'm mentally ill um, <laughs> so uh, first off um, I got a console which you, you probably could see in the corner there so I'm just gonna pull it out there because it's not really much of a surprise um, I bought the Nintendo 3DS XL because I've been playing a lot of 3DS as of late and my other 3DS is small and I want this bigger one you can see camera stay there okay and I wanted this bigger one and uh, right now on Amazon or at certain points on Amazon this thing can be as low as $159 this limited edition Yoshi one so I got it for $169 of course the week after I got it it was $159 oh well but um it's awesome um it's 90% more awesome and uh, I got a dollar Hong Kong um, plastic case on it so the uh, Yoshi doesn't get scratched up and the eggs in the back don't get scratched up and this Hong Kong dollar um, fake 3DS case with lanyard because if I can protect something for two dollars why not you know what I mean uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned I've actually tried filming this like three times already and each time there's either a parade happening or people outside yelling um, I have a water bottle like two seconds ago when I tried filming this there it is I thought that was weird um, so yeah, we're just gonna get right onto the video games. Actually, I'm gonna take a sip of something. This is probably is gonna be one of, probably one of the worst ones I've done because um, <laughs> I'm just tired and trying to film this thing. I've done it so many times. But um, video games. Let's see. I'm gonna pull these out. I'll do these ones first because these ones at the moment I cannot play, and uh, the reason for that is they're on a console that is older than me, um, which some of my favorite consoles might be older than me but this one in general I just don't own a way of playing them right now and that is in television games um, I have four in television games here I have super video arcade baseball uh, for color TV viewing only naturally and the cool thing is like they come open and there's the game and the little you're supposed to put that in the controller so you can see what the things do in the little booklet and these were actually made by Sears back in the day. Uh, Sears released their own games, if you could believe that. Um, Super Video Arcade Armor Battle for video, for color, video, TV only. Um, and Sea Battle for Mattel games for color, TV viewing only. And uh, Poker Blackjack for uh, color, TV viewing only because you'd think you'd only get black cards and that would be a shame um not in a racist way that's how that sounded uh, <laughs> but uh, actually at the moment I can't play these um, I know the Atari if you buy an attachment for the Atari you can play these I have an Atari I don't have the attachment so at the moment I can't play any of these I have other ColecoVision games but I have boxed ones which are nice and I got them for a dollar each so that wasn't too bad. Now I gotta look for a spot to put these. Um, so next is a couple of games I've actually I've played. Actually, all of these. Holy man, that never happens. Um, but these actually aren't all the video games either. Um, the first one, if you've been following me on Facebook, which uh, yes, I'm whoring already. Um, on Facebook, I've actually posted these some of these games that I've beaten, and this one is probably one of the most 
I'm impressed with right now. And I beat it. Um, that is Super Princess Peach. And I know you're thinking, uh, Princess Peach had her own video game. What is the world coming to? Feminism, feminism, feminism. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Super Princess Peach, uh, Mario and Luigi get kidnapped in a whole, bu um, a whole bunch of the Toads get kidnapped too. And the game itself basically consists of, I'm trying to see if I can find something to lay this up on. Uh, I don't know where I put my other stand. Oh well. Um, the game basically consists of a Mario game, except you're Princess Peach, really, except you have a weapon, which is a, um, umbrella, which allows you to do kind of float jumps and, like, certain attacks and slides and, like, really cool things like that. The game plays very, 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 very much like Yoshi's Island, which is really good, but it has, like, um, uh, map design of Super Mario World. So if you like Super Mario World and Yoshi's Island, which is the sequel to Super Mario World, this game is kind of perfect. It could be in the trio of those three games. Um, instead of collecting like big coins or whatever, you collect toads. You have to find three toads at every level. Uh, word of warning, just so you know, um, I collected every single toad in the game because I wanted to. It, you know, just because I did that. At the very end, when you get to the boss door, it says you need to collect every toad before entering this boss door. Luckily that I was doing that already, but if you kind of were just blasting through the game, trying to have fun, you know, whatever, not really caring, and then you get to the end of the game, you can't beat the game because you need to have all the toads. So, word of warning, um, grab all the toads if you play this game. But, um, you know, I, I don't think Nintendo still publishes this anymore. I would never condone emulation. Um, but it is a route. This game is actually uncommon. It's about 30 to 40 to 50 bucks to find. I got it for $17.99 and I would probably, if I knew how good this game was, I would have spent the 30 bucks on it if I found it somewhere else because it's really, really, really good. You can get your time out of it. It's, if you like platformers, this is one of the best platformers on the 3DS. DS on the DS <laughs> so go get it it's really really good um, the next game which I've been interested in for quite a while is on uh, I have a PS3 copy it's also on PC and Xbox 360 um, I've been really interested in it because the concept just interested me and this game can go for as high as five dollars <laughs> and as low as a dollar um, which is kind of a shame and that is Alpha Protocol, the Espionage RPG. Um, kind of imagine 007 um, type game, except with a Mass Effect-y kind of choose your, choose your way kind of game, where you, you, you click this and that to, to do dialogue options. And also when you upgrade, you can upgrade uh, your stealth, your pistol, your, I don't know, espionage, your sabotage, just all that kind of stuff. And, um, with a really kind of cheesy 007-ish story. Five dollars. Uh, it's made by Obsidian, which is actually not the only game here from Obsidian. There's a hint. Um, yeah, second Obsidian. Obsidian, I think it's a lot of shit because they've made a lot of really cruddy RPGs. Um, not necessarily bad, just cruddy. Like, this game c could be considered cruddy. It's kind of sloppy. It's a little can chug sometimes when you're playing it. They did the Fallout New Vegas, which I know some people praise, but with me it was kind of awful compared to Fallout 3, which I don't know how. They're, Fallout New Vegas fixed things that Fallout 3 did, and yet ruins so much more. Uh, but that's irrelevant, honestly. Um, and they also made a new RPG, which I have actually over here, which there's your hint if you know their stuff, and I'll show that in a minute. But uh, this game is actually surprisingly good. I put 10 plus hours maybe into it, uh, beat it. I had to actually beat the ending twice because it bugged out, but that was the only re big issue. I just didn't get my credits, which bugged me. I thought I missed something, so I replayed it. This game has multiple, I think, endings you can do, uh, multiple different routes of things and how you do it, different friends you can make. Um, it's just really, really fun, and for $5, why not? Go get it. Go get it for five bucks. Um, 
Next are two games here. I'm actually going to show them both. Uh, they're actually completely kind of different, but I've been playing them at the same time, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> I need something better to prop this stuff up on. I'm not doing too well here. I told you how prepared I am. There we go. We'll use the um, my fighting stick I got a while back. And we'll show these. Oh my goodness. There we go. Put my my wallet in front of them. This is so unprofessional. <laughs> oh well. I'll just hold them. Right. And that is uh, <laughs> Mario and Luigi Dream Team for the 3DS and uh, Dragon's Crown for the Vita. Now, I'm not sure if I've actually ever stated this, but I think the Vita is one of the best handhelds. Um, don't get me wrong, I think the 3DS is also, but the Vita the fact that it can produce PS3 quality games just is so exciting to me, and yet nothing is released on the damn thing. Um, but this was, and this is Dragon's Crown. Uh, Dragon's Crown was also released on PS3, but I do believe just from playing this game, I think it was actually supposed to be a Vita, a Vita game, but they ported it to the PS3 for more like more money and more sales. That could be wrong. I don't think it is, but. You know, there's just certain touch things you have to do which makes sense for the game. And I would not want to do it on the um, PS3. And, um, what was I saying? Dragon's Crown! It's an RPG um, hack and slash where basically it's a brawler type game, kind of like TMNT. And like the old school TMNT, um, Double Dragon, those kind of games. Except it's medieval. Um, and you gain levels and upgrade your characters. and you can collect other characters. There's bones, and when you collect bones, you can revive the bones, and they will become your heroes, and you can bring three heroes on a quest with you. It is very Dungeons & Dragons-y, with an art style that is ridiculous. Uh, talking about art style, uh, when I bought this, I actually bought this from Amazon um, recently, and they gave me the old pre-order book, brand new, and I was like, cool, and it, we'll just kind of open her up here. Like, it's very, like, the art design is very, uh, you know, but it's, uh, for an RPG, it's very Dungeons & Dragons-y, the whole game is narrated, um, it's narrated in a way where it's like someone telling you a story while you're playing the game, and it's, it's really cool, it's, it's really cool, it's only, from what I read online, it's less than 20 hours long, maybe, like, 15, um, I put maybe 5 into it. I'm quite enjoying it. It's quite fun. Um, if you can get it for cheap, uh, like 19 bucks, it's worth the 20 something that they're, I think they're asking for right now. But if you can get it for like 19 uh, for either console, definitely pick it up. But uh, back to the Mario and Luigi. I wanted an RPG Mario and Luigi. Um, or just Mario game, really, honestly. And I got Paper Mario Sticker Star. And if you guys don't remember, uh, I got that a long time ago. And I finally... Uh, that Paper Mario Sticker Star is not an RPG at all. It's not a Paper Mario game in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's so bad. It, they took the RPG elements, but made no level system. Which is utterly pointless. Like, literally. Utterly pointless. So in this game... Uh, when I found out about this game, I had to buy it, because I'm like, it's an RPG, where it's Mario and Luigi. And this is basically what I wanted, was an RPG with Mario and Luigi. It's right here. Um, is it the best thing ever? No, not necessarily. It's actually, it's, it's not the greatest thing. Uh, is it fun? Yes. Uh, but I know there's other ones. I think Super... Superstar or Super something is another game they made. I don't know how I keep misplacing my water bottle. Um, <laughs> but it's it's another game they made, which is apparently much, much better, uh, just from playing this one. But, I got it for like 17 bucks. Once again, why not? It's quite good. Um, it's fun. It's just, I don't know. I wanted more, I was more into an, a hardcore, you know, do whatever you want. RPG where it's open world and fantasy and awesome. Not this game. Um, 
<laughs> okay, so before you say anything, I already own this game on Xbox 360. Uh, because so you might be thinking, you're a little late on the game on that one. Pun intended. Um, I already own it on 360. I'm actually doing a, uh, a Final Fantasy project that I'm doing right now where I'm photoshopping all the covers and making them look like the Japanese covers and making them white with white cases with Roman numerals on the side and they're all flush and it's all gonna look great but I want to own all of them on PS1, PS2, and PS3 um, basically all Sony is what I want because Sony is Final Fantasy I know Nintendo was, but you know what I mean, they're, they're Final Fantasy now, they're all reliable consoles, none of them are going to die within three months of playing them, um, and yeah, Blu-ray, Blu-ray, one disc, Blu-ray, the 360, three discs, DVDs that crack easily, um, and Scratch, Blu-ray scratch resistant, but I'm getting onto a rant, I apologize, but um, yeah, I'm actually just a few, few away from my main goal. Um, I need to get three on the DS because it was that was the only place it was released in physical form. Um, three on the DS. I need to get four on PS1, and I need to get eleven on 360. That is the only one I have to get in 360 um, because on the 360 they made the online game, and it, there's a complete edition that you can get. Uh, which I'm going to buy. It's the only way I think you can get complete. The PS2 is going to be way too much of a hassle to get them all. Uh, and I'd rather have just complete, you know what I mean? Like a complete edition. And the best way of doing that is um, the Xbox 360. I know some of you might say PC, but you know, 360 is the best way of going on that one. And then I can get the PS4 at 14 if I ever want to play it. But uh, yeah, that project I will update in a other video. Now, um, oh! One, two, two more games left here. Um, I actually almost forgot about these, and I was about to skip them. And that is, let's, the big one will go last, the one I've been having the most fun recently. Um, and that is, I got Monster Hunter Ultimate on the 3DS. Um, I've played Monster Hunter Try on the Wii, which is the exact same game. Uh, so if you already have Monster Hunter Try and you want to play Monster Hunter 3, you're playing Monster Hunter 3. Um, <laughs> it's, I don't know why they call it Try, I guess Try is in TRI 3, I don't, I don't know. Either way, this is Monster Hunter Ultimate. Uh, it's in HD, it runs I think 60 frames. Uh, actually talking about this, I actually, ooh jeez, I actually have it in the console right now. Uh, that's what I've been playing. And, uh, it actually might not be 60 frames now that I look at it, but it's, it's, oops, sorry, it's, it's really nice. Um, I've been playing it. It's Monster Hunter. Um, if you don't know about Monster Hunter, basically you are a hunter of monsters and that is the game. Um, some people I know go crazy about the series. Um, I'm not too crazy about it. I play it. It's basically an RPG without a level system, which that kind of thing bugs me. I know a lot of people defend saying it's not an RPG at all, but um, you know, you fight monsters to level up your armor, to get more armor, to upgrade your armor, to fight more monsters, and you're playing as a character which you can make, and all that stuff, and you're role playing as that character, it's kind of an RPG. But um, yeah, uh, I bought it. Um, maybe you shouldn't have bought a Capcom game because they're the worst company ever right now. But uh, <laughs> really fun. If you want Monster Hunter 3, uh, you have options. You have Wii U. Uh, you have the PS3 HD Japanese Edition. You have uh, 3DS, the Wii. Like you can get it everywhere. If you really want a version to get though, and you don't want a handheld, just get the Wii U one. It's an HD online, and you can connect to users from the 3DS. So probably your best option there and it'll be in English if you want an HD version in English that's the way to go um, yeah so then the last game here which um, yeah we're running we're running down on these uh, this actually is probably gonna be quite short than normal and I apologize this isn't the greatest video ever uh, <laughs> but that is and I got this for $30 $31 after shipping might I add and that is South Park and the stick of truth. 
Uh, let me just open this. The Grand Wizard Edition. Now, the game is actually just in here. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, Jesus. Um, so yeah, I got South Park and the Stick of Truth. This game retails for about... Oh, $49 right now, and that's just the game. Maybe $39? Um, yeah. I I was looking just at Amazon. Uh, I wasn't even looking for South Park, and I was just looking at PS3 games because right now is the time to try to grab these games because the next generation's coming. These are going to drop in price, so you know it's kind of one of those things you look for. And I was just looking at things, and I see South Park, and I'm like, okay, forty nine dollars, you know, blah blah blah, thirty nine used. I'm like, oh whatever. And then I scroll down and I see the Wizard Edition. It's like eighty nine ninety nine, sixty nine ninety nine uh, on sale. Um, 50 something, 50 something, and then all of a sudden I see 23, 23, 24, and 30. I'm like, what? That something's not right here. So I go in, and it's an Amazon, actual Amazon, um, selling damaged copies of the game for like 30 bucks. And there's still some, if you're a Canadian user, there's still some there if you're interested in this. And want to see my damage? If you can see that, it's right there. The corner was like smushed in. Otherwise, everything was sealed, the game was sealed, the code still worked, the figure is awesome. Um, yeah, it was a great investment. Now for the game. Holy crap! <laughs> I played this for like eight hours yesterday, and this game is South Park. It, it, it is South Park. It is weird. It looks like the show, it plays like the show, all the jokes are the same, all the voices are the same. It's the show. You're playing the show. It is weird. And it's an RPG. Like, a turn-based RPG. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It makes no sense to me either. But... It's really, really good. Um, and I totally recommend it. There's people making noise downstairs. Um, that's lovely. Thank you. Um... <laughs> But, yeah, it's really, really, really good. I didn't know Ubisoft published this. I just noticed that now. That's weird. But, um, if you like South Park in any way, or you like, uh, you want to play a simple RPG, if you can get this for 30 bucks like I did, go for it. I think the game is, like, less than 15 hours from what I read, but, um, you can easily, I think, put more than that in it because... There's, you, you can make friends with every character, you gotta collect the chim Pokemon from the show, you gotta collect armor, all the, the hairstyles, all the, f like, uh, the items, there's just, there's all these different quests, there's, you meet different characters and they'll send you on other quests from the show, there's easter eggs all over the place, it's basically the show, the game, and it's really good. This is like the best South Park game ever. I'm not a, the biggest fan of South Park either, but I've seen a lot of it and this sh game is perfect. Um, so yeah, we'll get actually to the anime. There's only two things here. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is going to be a horrible video. Um, so uh, I've only actually been able to watch a whole five minutes of this show and that's because I was watching it with someone and they decided to leave five minutes in because they're assholes. Um, and that is Steins Gate. Uh, I got Steins Gate Part 1 on Blu-ray and DVD. And Steins Gate Part 2 on Blu-ray and DVD. This is the complete, uh, the complete show. Um, and I can't say a single damn thing about it because I haven't been able to see like any of it. Uh, all I know is the guy who did Eneru from One Piece is the uh, main guy. I think Michael J. Tatum? Michael? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah. I got it for like 60 bucks, which at the time was an amazing deal for this. And of course, last week they decided to release the complete series, or not release, announce the complete series uh, for like 40 bucks. So if you want Steins Gate, you can now pre-order it for like 40 bucks. So damn. Oh well. Uh, and the last anime here is actually something super interesting that I haven't been able to watch it uh, for an obvious reason in a second. But um. This has some story behind it, not from me, but just in the community. And if you don't know it, then it's worth a Google. And um, that is Warriors of the Wind. 
on VHS. Now you might think, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so yeah, Warriors the Wind. It is, if you can't see there, a Ghibli film. But what Ghibli film? It is actually Nasca Valley of the Wind, cut to shit, redubbed, and released on VHS in 84, I think? 80, 84. Yeah, so this is a butchered action version, version of Nasca Valley of the Wind. Uh, I think it's like an hour 30 or something, hour 20, and the original is what, two hours and something, I think? So, y yeah, like, oh my god. I think that's supposed to be Nazca in the corner there. So if you if you know Nazca Valley of the Wind, it's a Ghibli film. It's actually the first Ghibli film, I think. No, yes, one of the first, anyways. And yeah, you can do just go do a Google search. I think the whole thing you can find this on YouTube. This version of the film. Um, this VHS S goes for almost 50 bucks in some places. 40 to 50 bucks, uh, and that's if you find a decent deal. Um, I got this for 50 cents at a yard sale, and when I found it, I couldn't believe it. I would never expect to find this. This thing is about 30 years old. Wow, it's ridiculous. Um, and yeah, we're actually running uh, near the end of this video, and uh, I apologize for my 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 manner of state. I'm tired, and it's so hot in this room. I feel like I'm gonna die. Um, but, last but not least, I actually got some cards um, from two different series. Yeah, uh, so if you know, I've been trying to promote um, two series as of late. And that is Weiss Swartz, which is a anime-based card game. And another game called Sword Girls, which uh, was my latest video I posted before this. And I've been trying to do an English translation of the Korean card game Sword Girls. And uh, recently, um, I bought Sword Girls, the train card game uh, Dark Lore? I forget what these are actually called, this trial deck. I can't understand it, obviously. But um, I decided to take it in Photoshop and uh, translate the entire deck. And I've made printouts for these, so you can uh, print them out, put the sleeve inserts in your sleeve, and then you can... Uh, play Sword Girls with this deck. Uh, I actually have two decks done, meaning, uh, and hopefully, I will be able to learn 100% the rules, and uh, other people will be able to learn and play with those two decks. There's only, I think, four decks released, so I've done half the work, half the job, and I'll be releasing these in a separate video coming up, probably right after this, and I'll also be releasing it on a form, which I'll post in that video, too, if you want to see screenshots of things. Uh, yeah, and I also bought um, a booster box of the same card game. This came with 30 packs. Uh, they're already all open, uh, and the cards are to the side. I don't feel like pulling them all out. There, there's a lot of them. But what I will do is I'll just pull out the uh, the hollows. There's the hollows I got. I only got four out of 30 packs. But this card game, as I, I've mentioned before, is super super cheap. Got this 30 packs for 20 bucks, free shipping. So, yeah, super cheap card game I've been trying to translate, and it's been difficult. Now this card game, um, I'm super interested in, actually. Uh, Soul Girls, been interested in. Weiss Swartz, when I first got them, super interested in. But that started to fade out because I've gotten other things. Um, this is the next thing I will be translating, maybe, hopefully. We'll see what happens. And um, that is... And if you're into anime and card games, Precious Memories. Now, I haven't, been, I haven't opened it yet because I bought um, a box of um, cases and they sent me the wrong size. So I have had to ship those back. And because it's Canada Day, happy Canada Day, um, I haven't actually been able to open these up because I want them in pristine, pristine edition. I got to condition, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and camera turned off, I'm sorry. Uh, this is Squid Girl. Um, which is an anime uh, <laughs> that I've been interested in. I've watched a chunk of it before, and it's quite funny. Uh, so I bought Squid Girl, and on the way, hopefully, I also have uh, K-On, which is coming, and that will be awesome. And I'll be taking these and uh, translating them. 
basically the card games like White Swartz or Vanguard or whatever one of those kind of card games I think you play. Except it's um a little bit more girly, I think, from what I've seen. The packaging is nice. It's actually much nicer than the White Swartz uh, packaging, I think, in my opinion. And it, there's 60 cards in this instead of the normal um, 50 in most Japanese card games. And there's also a uh, thingy for your playmat and rules and stuff. But I haven't been able to look at it because I'm waiting for some good cases and stuff and junk. But uh, that is mostly everything I got this month. Uh, sorry this was one of the worst videos you've ever watched. And uh, I thank you for watching, actually. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. I have my Facebook, all that stuff in the description. And, um... Yeah! Thank you for watching. Hopefully next month won't be as hot or a train wreck or me filming this five times and then someone screaming at my window or through my window trying to find a cat without a tail and a foot. Ain't life great? <laughs> See you.